Hey everyone, it's Dash here and welcome to the Sam and Max Overview. I suppose we're lacking some comedy games recently on Quest. I mean, depends what you perceive as a comedy because Oculus and its whole software is pure comedy gold to me. At this point it's like a tradition to shit on it, but I'm working on a stamp of approval of being the black horse of VR. <laughs> so Sam and Max seems to be an adventure narration game where from what I got we help out like two cops to inflict justice on monsters occupying the world. I have no clue what it's about with. That's the first time I hear about this duo. I don't know if there's like a cartoon or like anime or anything at all, like I'm going full throttle, no info. I guess just from watching the trailer and reading the info, I would think it's gonna be similar to Trover Saves the Universe. With that one I was afraid because it was driven by the cartoon and already made up fanbase that has like a specific humor to it and apparently not everyone kinda gets it to enjoy. But the Trover VR game really translated well for someone that had no idea about the universe at all and was really inclusive with the gameplay that anyone could enjoy. So having said that, if Sam and Max will be the same, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a fun playthrough. Because, oh yes, we're doing a playlist of it. I mean, what's the point of my brand if I wouldn't do a series on that genre? Like, that's my staple. I know it's gonna be like a full narration game. I'm not sure if there's gonna be like a combat or just some action in between. I do expect it to be funny, but that's pretty much it at this point. I hope that it's gonna translate for me, even though I have no idea about the universe. That is just gonna be enjoyable to play. See you in the footage! Ah. Oh shit, my ass off. <laughs> Sure, you saw someone under here. Sure as I'm standing here risking a herniated disc. It's a garbage. Hey, you in there. Are you giving us a hand saving your keister? Just put your arms up and lift. It's a live save. Ooh, now we're talking. On three. One, two. <laughs> I don't even touch, but sure. Oh my god. The giant monster now. Hey, you okay, buddy? Looks like you took a pretty good bash to the bonds. <laughs> Sorry. Bash to the bonds. If you were watching British television again, I can't help it. The Whoa, <laughs> shit. Pressed. It's like a non-stop thrill ride. Uh-oh, we've got incoming. Hey, Lumpy, you might want to take a couple steps to the right and or left. Yo, Lumpy. Get over here before you get yourself dead. Finally. <laughs> it's not a very nice thing to say to someone who's suffering from a dumpster induced concussion, Max. <laughs> Sorry, Lumpy. Welcome to the party, kid. Now get down. And thanks for bringing down our unintended casualty count. <laughs> I'm Sam. He's Max. We're the freelance police. You might recognize us from our breakfast cereals and underground comics. That 50 foot bundle of fun popped up a few minutes ago and started trashing our neighborhood. Okay. You see what it did to our portico. You're adorable when you misuse architectural terms. Anyway, we think we've got a plan to stop this terrifying enigma. But we need someone with five fingers to operate this. Uh, where were you keeping that, Max? It's classified, Sam. Also horrifying. That's the spirit. Okay, kid, here's what we need you to do. When I yell go, we're gonna try to distract Mr. Grumpy Heads. All you have to do is load these rockets into this state-of-the-art rocket launcher. Which we totally didn't steal from a military trade show swag bag. Wait until we've distracted it. Point this in the general vicinity of one of the heads, and... Boom! Great big gobs of greasy, grimy monster guts! Do we have a copyright on this? Ready? Set? Go! Oh shit! <laughs> down, four to go. Nope. Uh, Sam, my hilarious antics aren't distracting him anymore. I was afraid this might happen. It appears that this menace from beyond is capable of temporarily learning from its mistakes. Let me try to distract it this time. <laughs> hey, monster! Look over here while I read you the rights. You have the right to get blown up. If you don't want to get blown up now, that's too bad because you're going to get blown up. Nice shot, kid. Rats, now the critter won't pay any attention to me. Just like Debbie at the health club. Maybe we should try to distract him together with the gift of music. <laughs> Shit. 
chat. These have stopped working. Yes. A pity. Hey, what happened to all those fireworks we didn't get to shoot off last year? Good idea, Sam. All monsters are entranced by the hypnotic glow of a night living light. One left. Nothing can stop us now. Stop chasing us, Max. So was the last trick? That thing's twitching like a grenade in a chair. Oh. In the garbage. <laughs> hey look! It shrunk! They don't usually do that. Maybe it just got out of the pool. Hi! You okay, kid? Bumpy spine, Sam. Those dilated pupils and twitching eyebrows are the signs of a <gasps> true hero. You know, Max, you may be onto something. I am? Kid, you've got moxie, nerve, spunk, and an overall joie de vivre that's <laughs> very refreshing in this mechanized age. Ah. As it so happens, the freelance police are looking to expand their ranks, and we could use a gutsy go-getter like you. Oh, please, Sam, don't. So what do you say, kid? Do you have what it takes to become one of the few, the odd, the marginally compensated? I'm begging you. Do you want to join the freelance police? Ah. <laughs> Leaflet. Are you stuck in a dead-end job that makes you want to vomit? <laughs> yes. Were you raised in a sewer? Well, <laughs> okay. Is there someone out there? We're busy. No, we're not. Come on in. Hello. Oh my God. This is a lot. Come on in. Hello. Hi, Max. Welcome, kid. Did you fill out that form we gave you? It's right here, Sam. Here, Lumpy, hold this for me. <laughs> we haven't been formally introduced, but I'm Sam, and this is my huggable partner, Max. Please don't hug me. We're the freelance police. What in the? Selfless wranglers of scurvy gutter trash, supernatural botherers, and vermin of all stripes. I'm less a vermin and more of a lagamore. Crime never sleeps around here, so we need quality cadets like you with limited career options and leaders of type <gasps> O blood. Looks like you've already filled out an application form. Great. I'll just enter all your data into old Vicky here. In the meantime, Max will give you a basic aptitude test to make sure you can walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> Rise and shine, Lumpy! You're about to take a one-way ticket to H.E. Double Hockey Sticks with yours truly as a tour guide. I'm gonna turn your flabby, useless body into a lean, mean, freelance police and machine. Do you understand me? Just show him the checklist, Sergeant Rockhead. Over there is a checklist of basic tasks. If you complete them without accidentally bursting your appendix, <laughs> they allow you to continue your training. Kill personality, I really like that. I really like Max for some reason. Cocky bitch, but like just dangerous. <laughs> make some coffee, dart ball, roach, pasta, make Max lunch, punch clown. Well, I can do it now. That's Mr. Jingles, our stress relief clown. Give it a good smack or two. It's very relaxing. All right, kid. Mr. Jingles has had enough for one day. They keep telling me to get a computer or a scanner, but nothing beats the feel of a slowly rusting typewriter with a few missing letters. <laughs> Dartboard. Throw and weapon. Oh, it's three of my favorite top eight sharp toys. We need to know if you can hit the. Yeah, yeah, live it up, gas bag. I won't forget this. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I want the if you interact. You're a testy little scamp. Good thing I'm wearing Kevlar skivvies. <laughs> What? <laughs> Max! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Combination? Oh. Why don't you throw me like that anymore, Sam? Ham and HR said I had to cut it out. There's <laughs> nothing sacred anymore. Roach Buster. Vermin. While you're poking around the lacy unmentionables in our closet, you taking out some of those cockroaches with my six gun? Uh. Up the office, Sam. Just stick to the cockroach, good job, kid. 
Now put my gun back before you're overwhelmed with cockroach bloodlust. <laughs> Ew. Do cockroaches even have blood, Sam? That's a good question. <laughs> Make Max lunch. Oh, here we go. Corn dog. 20 seconds. Hey, are you sure we want Lumpy using Oh my god. Its warranty ran out three popes ago. It'll be fine, Max. Stray bursts of radiation build character. <laughs> and tumor? Mmm, the sweet, oily smell of irradiated meat like products. <laughs> Gimme. Cut, 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 cut. You don't seriously expect me to eat that greasy treat with my fluffy, adorable hands, do you? Oh, you need cutlery? Your paws, Max. With a stick? Mmm, <laughs> crunchy, chewy, just a hint of pig lips. Not bad, Lumpy. But I still don't like you. You will eventually. Persuasion is strong. Coffee for Sam. So far I like their personalities. It's entertaining enough for me to keep playing. Sam, do you have a cup? Oh, here we go. That's my prized Joe mug. I take mine with a shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. And just a hint of danger. Wait, he said two scoops of sugar. And a dash of cream, right? Don't forget, one shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. Yes. What happens if I miss Matt? You're too nice, I don't want to. Screw you. <laughs> it's fine, dude. Ah, that's the stuff. Uh, sorry I was a little rough on you earlier. I'm a complete animal until I get my morning Joe. And afterwards, he's just some sort of grumpy half-dog, half-human thing. Can it, fuzzball. Hey Sam, Lumpy's all done with the aptitude tests. How'd the kid do? Somewhere between brain dead and unformed pile of clay. Just how we like him. I got some more typing to do here, but that can wait. Anytime you're ready to head on over to our training grounds, just give me a holler. Let's go. You ready to start your training? Alrighty then. It's time to gird your wits and steal your loins for the challenges of the Freelance Police Training Grounds. Here's helping you like pain! Oh, I do! Here we are at the Freelance oh, Police Academy my God. of Remedial Crime Busting and Planetary Protection. Sorry about the bumpy drive, but there's two pounds of lead embedded in my right foot. As you can see, the Academy has been built on the remains of Cat Aqua Bear's Funtime Park. A colorful seaside amusement park that closed down in 2005 under mysterious circumstances. By mysterious, he means it went broke. And by colorful, he means psychologically scarring and full of asbestos. In order to complete your training, you'll need to receive a passing grade in 10 sanity-defying challenges. Actually, it's not, <laughs> Sam. The Supreme Court just ruled that the 10th one was, quote, cruel, unusual, and lacking pizzazz. Okay, fine. Nine challenges. Once you pass the first three, we'll let you try the next three, and so on. Oh wait, I almost forgot. We'll be tracking your progress with these special bracelets we confiscated from one of the many mad scientists we've jailed over the years. Just stick out either hand and Max will slap it on. Here. Slap! Okay kid, you're good to go. Whenever you're ready, just saunter over to the challenge of your choice, and we'll tell you what to do and where to shoot. I don't know at all what to expect, but we'll see. Okay, so we just step into the attractions. The graphics look fun. I mean, cartoony star, but... Let's go here first. Rotunda of Industry. Ah, there you are. As you're probably aware, the life of a freelance police officer is fraught with all sorts of dangers. Yeah, like using the word fraught with a straight face. One of the most harrowing and most explodey of these dangers is the threat of a ticking time bomb. The real ones with wires and screws, not the metaphorical ones with climates and debts. Inside this abandoned tribute to can-do capitalism, you'll be asked to defuse a number of bombs before time runs out. We put them in the severed heads of the attraction's robots because we love whimsy. <laughs> Take a moment to calm your nerves, then head on in to get started. That's... <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's see. Holy hopscotch and Hayek, Max. 
The brains of three of our nation's greatest entrepreneurs have been replaced by fiendishly clever time bombs. I hate when that happens. We'll help you defuse them with some online manuals we've dug up on the dark web. Your examination begins now. The first thing you need to do is open up the head of Thomas Edison here like a ripe mango. The manual says there should be a screw, bolt, or wires somewhere on the side of the head. Move it around to find the right one. Then open her up. Gently. My name is Thomas Alva Edison. Alternating current. Alternating hokum, I say. Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Good. Now listen to the order of the colors. Don't mess up. Yellow. Blue. Red. Good job. Now don't touch anything yet. It's a fail-safe system, Max. The heads have tells to choose the correct action, but the rest are lies that'll make it go kaboomskis. But which one is the right one? Well, according to the manual, he's telling the truth when his eyes are green. Okay. When he says poke me, poke him in the eyes! No, 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 no. <laughs> when he says boop me, tap him on the nose. Okay. Smack me. No. Boot me. Smack me. Boot me. Well, this was it. That looks like a Phillips head. Get the Phillips screwdriver to take it off and open the head. Green. Yellow. Black. Heard of him. He can't tell a lie when he's looking up. Poke me. Poke me. Poke me. Smack me. Yank me. Poke me. Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. White. His eyes turn blue when he's telling the truth. Huh. Mood eyes. Okay. Twist me. Boot me. Yank me. Boot me. Yank me. Boot me. Poke me. Twist me. Yank me. That looks like a flathead. Pick up the flathead screwdriver to take it off and open it up. Green, white, blue, red. I see a future of concrete houses and wooden dishwashers. Red eyes are the sign of the truth. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. <laughs> Same. Boot me. Twist me. Boot me. Smack me. of time, kid. Yeah, but can you do it while hanging upside down in a piranha tank? Eh? Done to this? Nicely done, cadet. You've officially passed the Bombs Away Challenge. Good deal. You can train a chimp to disarm a bomb, 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 bomb. Hey, Sam, we should train a chimp to disarm a bomb. Great C. Oh, come on. Okay. I mean, I was confused a little bit in the beginning, but I got it. Okay. I like that they're walking with me. <laughs> I guess let's go to the next one and then we'll end it for now and then we'll just continue later. Circle Carnage. Sure. That seems fun. <laughs> this is a sign, obviously. I see your eye has wandered over to our Circle of Carnage. Along with the rest of your misshapen body. Hey, you really should exercise more. Ignore him. 
Now, the life of a freelance police officer isn't just about shooting things. But it's not not about shooting things, if you catch our drift. The sad but exceptionally fun truth is that you will occasionally be called upon to responsibly discharge your firearm while protecting the innocent and or saving the world. Responsibly discharge your firearm? <laughs> Are we shooting bad guys or getting ready for a spring cotillion, Sam? When you're ready for some target practice, just step into the circle and we'll set you up. Okay. Welcome to the Circle of Carnage. Carnage! 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 What? We fudged together the park's shooting galleries to test your firearm skills while being overstimulated by a hideous panopticon of garishness. I saw panopticon of garishness at the Crown Plaza back in 98. Your weapons are on the table in front of you. Try not to shoot any civilians. Or us. We're gonna go someplace safe. Shit. <laughs> First up, it's the Old West shoot 'em up. Uh, why are the bank robbers kangaroos, Sam? Because this was built in Australia, where 95% of the fauna would just as soon kill you as look at you. Good on you. Reload! How to? Okay. Hey, <laughs> that, you no good vegetable <laughs> environment. I wanted to shoot, yeah. Max. Let me see this. Okay, more accurate. I'm not shooting you, Sam. You're nice. Don't tempt me. Hey, that, you know, good Vegemite. Oh no! It's a spooky graveyard full of zombies, mummies, and other monstrous and therefore socially acceptable targets. I hate it when the dead don't stay on their side of the veil. Uh huh. With your boost, stick, kid. Get back in your coffin, corpse boy. Reload. What the? <laughs> All this rotting flesh is making me hungry for takeout. I think I have to reduce the music. Oh, there's no option for it. Okay. Max. Way to clear out those nights with your boomstick, kid. I've been there. I'm surprised you remember it. I remember most of the places I got killed. <laughs> Look out. Some of those targets shoot back. Shoot back. Get down, Max. Oh, damn. Oh. Now that's my weapon. In 1999. 
I wonder why the explosion is here. Oh, I can shoot the bullet. Tactics. Double RPG. What? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I have to listen to the music and where the things are. Ten. <laughs> Turning too slow, but that's fine. Too much. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, here. City. Uh, zombie. <laughs> nice shooting, Tex. You've officially earned your Circle of Carnage badge. But we're still not giving you a gun until you've passed the rest of our tests. Because that would be irresponsible. Yeah, irresponsible. B, okay, that's better. Okay, we'll stop here for now. This duo is crazy. I do love crazy. <laughs> that's my brand after all. I really like this. I mean, comedy-wise, it's top tier for me. I mean, it's funnier than Trover. Though Trover had like a unique humor style, this is more like in your face and actual jokes. Graphics are, you know, this cartoon-wise, which is not bad. Like, it's just for the atmosphere and stuff like that. We'll see later on, but so far, so good good. Mini games, I think they're on the simpler side. I mean, they tend actually to get more difficult gradually going into the game, so I wonder if this one is for kids or just for people skilled in VR. Hard to tell a lot for now because I'll have to play it more and more. That's just how it is with comic games. See, just random things happening like that the narration wise, so I like this style of humor, so we'll be playing more of it and we'll see how the playthrough goes then.